Hi guys, Shomofo here and I'm back with a brand new series. Yes, uh, today we're going to be having a look at Keeper RL, as in a Keeper Roguelike. And uh, I've been watching this game on Avax channel for a little bit and thought this looks jolly fun. I need to have a go of this. So we're going to give it a go today. And of course you can play as an adventurer and play it just as a roguelike. Uh, but I'm going to play it as a, a keeper, like a dungeon keeper. So uh, let's see how we do. Okay, so I've called this Curses Avax. Just because I... I oh, I really enjoy watching his channel, but so often he gets me into games that I really shouldn't be spending money on. And uh, I've put my seed as a showmofo. Okay, so we're done there. We're creating a world. Hopefully this won't take too long. And this will be my very first look at it. So apologies if I am just awful at playing this game. I'm, I'm really not sure what I'm doing in here at all. Okay, so Warlock, you were dabbling in the dark arts, Atad, I see. Welcome to the Valley of Landoranth, where you'll have to do what you can to keep yourself together, build rooms, storage units, and workshops to endorse your minions. The only way forward in this world is to destroy the ones who oppose you. I shall smite them all! Use the mouse to dig into the mountain. You can select rectangular areas using the shift key, and you will need access to trees, iron, stone, and gold ore. Build rooms and traps, and prepare for war. You can control a minion at any time by clicking on them in the minions tab or the map. And I can turn these messages off by pressing F2, but I need all the help. I can get. Okay, so they're wandering around. I've got four minions there. Uh, yes, spacebar uh, will pause the game, uh, much like No Moria. Now, uh, normally this would cause me a bit of confusion because uh, due to all first-person shooters, games like this that I play where you use WASD and the spacebar to pause, I, I'm used to uh, just randomly hitting the spacebar to jump while playing first-person shooters. So I, I often accidentally pause and unpause and stuff like that. But um, I'm actually using the arrow keys to uh, to move around at the moment. Um, simply because if you if you can set it to use WASD, but if you do, it means you have to use Shift to use any of the uh, the keyboard shortcuts. And I haven't. I don't even know what the the shortcuts are for anything. I've not played this game before at all. This is my very first look at it. So I didn't want to add to confusion by having to remember to, to press shift on stuff. Okay, now I've got four minions and uh, most of the people I see when they start playing this, they've got six. So let's have a look. This is all our, our build stuff here. Um, we've got a... Uh, this is all of our beasts and, and peeps. Here we go. Summon imp. Okay, click on a visible square on the map to summon an imp. Okay, so that's one, that's two, there we go. So we've got six and that cost us some mana. We've got 158 mana down here. Uh, we need granite, iron, wood, and gold. Okay, and that's the time remaining till nightfall, our population, and our current turn. Okay, uh, so we can zoom out with the mouse wheel and we can also press it to bring up the big map. Uh, these question marks are special areas that either have something awesome or something a terrible. Terrible, I say. Okay, so, uh, it appears to have lost my thing, so I'm just going to go onto Keeper, I'm going to go to Control, and then there we go, that centered it on him, and then press U2. Get rid of the control, and uh, let's zoom out just to see the map a little bit. And use the arrow keys. Okay, so we want to start building our dungeon. We've got got a nice little thing in here. Now, I want to set up a kind of... Oh, some gold up there. That's exciting. Oh, oh and a question mark. A question mark really, really close to us, too. And we've got some stuff around here that we can dig into. More gold! Yay! Excellent, excellent. So, um, where are we going to start? I want to start with... Let's take space off and let's press... Uh, oh, you just brought up that menu. <laughs> I thought that would give me control of this guy. Uh, oh, no. Um, I want to dig. I want to dig. So, um, let's start with, uh, I'll tell you what, let's clear this. Oops. If I hold shift. Uh, it should be on dig. There we go. Let's clear all of that. And uh, let's start our entrance here. I'm going to take it right up to there. 
And of course I want some of those uh, boulder trap things. Because they looked fun. I think that should be long enough. I think, um, I believe Avak had a bit of a problem with it hitting the end of the the wall and then smashing the wall. Hopefully these are long enough uh, that it won't do that. Let's see how that goes. Do one there and do another one there. Excellent, excellent stuff. And then, oh there's some water there. have to be careful of that kind of stuff. Let's go in here and let's clear out this stuff. Good, good, good. Okay, I need to build a dormitory for my minions. I probably need to build all kinds of things. Uh, and let's go this way. See what we have here. So, as said, this is my very, very first go on this. I have no idea. No real idea at all what it is that I am doing. Oops, oops, cancel that, cancel that. Okay, so we've nearly got that complete. Um, let's come down here. And let's take out this whole section. Oops, I meant to be. There we go. A whole section there. That's quite good. Now, I think I need a training room, a workshop, a graveyard, all kinds of things. Um, okay. Now, I want to just carefully come up here. See if we can reveal what's there. Okay. Uh, that doesn't look too bad at all and let's take this out to that kind of size and let's see uh let's make this our dormitory that should do for the time being and what else do we need what else do we need i'd like a training room so i'm going to make this the training room that would be quite nice i'm going to make this the graveyard and uh there's a, there's a cunning thing i want to do with this but a gas builds up in the uh in here with all the corpses and stuff that starts rotting once we start uh bringing things in here i, I want to make a cunning uh, extra entrance that comes in through there Possibly. I know you, uh, most people go with just one entrance, but I think an entrance that goes through a room filled with gas as well might be quite fun. Um, although I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um, now, uh, I need somewhere to store all of our stuff. So, we're going to need workshops and a store. Uh, so, let's bring you out across here. Oh, oh, no, cancel. Oh, drat. Never mind, never mind. Um, we can fill the bridge or possibly even... Can you, can you, uh, fill up the tunnel? Oh, yes, you can. Oh, that's not a problem at all, then. That is awesome. Can you do it outside? No, you can't do it outside. So you can't build anything outside. Righty-ho, but we have, we have got that blocked up for the time being. Okay, let's, let's get this in. Let's bring this down to here. And just pop these here. Okay, and then I think if we just take this whole section out here. Yep, it's telling me I need a uh, storage room for resources. Uh, this is what I'm planning on, on getting out next, the workshops and the resources. I'm a little bit concerned that all of these are on minus amounts <laughs> at the moment, um, but I suspect that's simply because we haven't either set up the storage or, or a workshop, and I need a library to start my research. Now, I want to have my library and my treasure room quite close together and as far away from the entrance really as is possible oops so i'm gonna oop there's a question mark there so i won't go too far out i uh, just i uh, see using the wds i just press d luckily that was for dig so that's not too bad and i think what i'll do is i'll uh i can go a bit further up here i'm gonna go up here i've exterminated the armed forces of humans smedlia have i how on earth did i manage that hey what happened there? I can't. I can't see any corpses. I can't see anyone having fought. I am entirely unsure as to how I have exterminated the armed forces of the humans. I mean, I've only got one keeper and six imps. One main villain conquered. Well, I've got to say, uh, awesome, but also kind of what? What happened there? How did that happen? Maybe, maybe because I believe the whole time I'm doing this, the other forces are fighting, so maybe somebody killed them on our behalf? I certainly don't see any evidence of any kind of battle or anything going on <laughs> at the moment for this. Gosh. Um, yeah, that's a bit weird. Okay, uh, let's just carry on. That was bizarre. Let's make this square. I think this will be our library for research. Ooh, there's more gold up there. 
Moral affects minion productivity and chances of fleeing from battle. Okay, and it, it doesn't really tell me moral, uh, moral. I'm saying moral. Morale, of course. Yeah, so, we need... What have we got so far? Um, a training room, a small training room, this. So we need a store and a workshop. So, um, how about we have a... Where's workshop? Where is workshop? Let's do storage first. Let's start with... Oh, I keep forgetting to... Uh, no, let's let's get rid of this. How do I... How do I get rid of it? Let's pause. Has it just already done it? Can we not... Can we not cancel it? Oh, well, this is just everything. And what's workshop? Is this... Ah, here we go. Uh, let's do a workshop. Oh, I need wood. I need wood. Okay, so... Can't do that yet, apparently. And night is falling. Killing enemies in their sleep yields double mana. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Hey. Oh, I've, I've, <laughs> see, this is my problem from uh, using too many... Uh, that's prioritized task. I, I don't want to do that. Um, okay, I, I think we need... Oh, what, we've got this here. We've got this here. So, I'm going to pop my library here. So I think we uh, we really need to get studying. And then we're probably going to want a little treasure room. And I will have that adjacent to this for the time being. Ah, good. We're starting to uh, heap stuff in. I'm probably going to die quite soon. I'm probably just going to get all of this laid out and then die horribly. <laughs> I'm really tempted to see what that question mark is, but also uh, incredibly fearful of what might be there. Oh, my word. What, Whatever could it be? Okay. I can't see anything, it's too dark. It's too dark. Can we build traps or anything yet? We probably need the workshop up and running before I can build any kind of uh, traps. No, I can't, can't build them. I mean, can we? No, I can't. Let's go to installations. I can't even do doors yet. And do bridges. It's weird how I can do a bridge, but not a door. And do some torches and do an eyeball. Do an eyeball. I think an eyeball would be nice. Uh, I'm going to have one there. Actually, I don't want to spend too much mana. I don't want to spend too much mana yet. Let's have a look at here. Let's look at the sorcery. And, uh, a keeper can learn spells. Healing requires sorcery, requires sorcery, requires sorcery. Okay. Uh, let's, oops, let's click on you. Activity, studying, training, uh, and studying. Consumables, equipment. Gosh, I've, I've really... Really do need to uh, figure out what is going on in here. Okay, so ah, oh, we've built we've built some of this. Excellent, excellent. And now I should uh, let's see, treasure room. That should do me for the time being. Now I've got plenty of iron ore. Uh, I haven't got much of that. My mana's quite low. Um, we're gonna need lots and lots of wood. Let's just also. Oops, I <laughs> can't have a treasure room there. It's a good job I didn't select that like that. Oh. If, if we got an orc, uh, no, an ogre. We've got an ogre that's training. Let's have a look. Oh, we've got two orcs and an ogre. Wow, that's awesome. That is absolutely awesome. Okay, guys, I'm going to pause it there, and uh, I'm going to leave it this time for this episode. I'm incredibly surprised I haven't died already. Um, I've actually managed to recruit an ogre, and an orc, and we'll be having a look at this uh, next time. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, this game is available on Steam, and you can download it from their own website. The links are in the descriptions. And of course, go along to Avak's channel, and uh, give him a big shout out, and uh, say hi from me. Hope you guys enjoyed that. I'll see you next time. If you like the video, please do like, comment, and of course, subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.